TIROS, or Television Infrared Observation Satellite, is a series of early weather satellites launched by the United States, beginning with TIROS-1 in 1960. TIROS was the first satellite that was capable of remote sensing of the Earth, enabling scientists to view the Earth from a new perspective, space. The program, promoted by Harry Wexler, proved the usefulness of satellite weather observation, at a time when military reconnaissance satellites were secretly in development or use. Tyros demonstrated at that time that the key to genius is often simplicity. Tyros is an acronym of Television Infrared Observation Satellite and is also the plural of Tiro, which means a young soldier, a beginner. Participants in the Tyros project included the National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, United States Army Signal Research and Development Laboratory, Radio Corporation of America, the United States Weather Bureau, the United States Naval Photographic Interpretation Center NPIC, the Environmental Science Services Administration ESA, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA. Topic. Description The 270 pounds 122 kilograms satellite was launched into a nearly circular low Earth orbit by a Thor Abel rocket. Drum shaped with a 42 inch 1.1 meters diameter, and height of 19 inches 48 centimeters, the Tyro satellite carried two 6 inch 15 centimeters long television cameras. One of the cameras had a wide-angle lens with an f/1.6 aperture that could view an 800-mile wide area of the Earth. The other camera had a telephoto lens with an f/1.8 aperture and 10 to 12 power magnification compared to the wide-angle camera. The satellite itself was stabilized in its orbit by spinning like a gyroscope. When it first separated from the rocket's third stage, it was spinning at about 136 revolutions per minute (RPM). To take unblurred photographs, a despin mechanism slowed the satellite down to 12 revolutions per minute after the orbit was accomplished. The camera shutters made possible the series of still pictures which were stored and transmitted back to Earth via 2 watt FM transmitters as the satellite approached one of its ground command points. After transmission, the tape was erased or cleaned and readied for more recording. Topic. Series Tyros continued as the more advanced Tyros Operational System TOS, and eventually was succeeded by the improved Tyros Operational System ETOS, or Tyros-M, and then by the Tyros-N and advanced Tyros-N series of satellites. NOAA N prime is the last in the Tyros series of NOAA satellites that observe Earth's weather and the environment. The naming of the satellites can become confusing because some of them use the same name as the overseeing organization, such as ESA, for TOS satellites overseen by the Environmental Science Services Administration, for example, ESA-1 and NOAA. For example, NOAA M for later Tyros series satellites overseen by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Tyros-1, launched April 1, 1960, suffered electrical system failure on June 15, 1960. Tyros-2, B, launched November 23, 1960, failed January 22, 1961. Tyros-3, C, launched July 12, 1961, deactivated February 28, 1962. Tyros 4 D launched February 8, 1962, failed on June 30, 1962. Both cameras failed earlier. Tyros 5 E launched June 19, 1962, failed on May 13, 1963. Tyros 6 F launched September 18, 1962, failed October 21, 1963. Tyros 7 G launched June 19, 1963, deactivated June 3, 1968. Tyros 8 H launched December 23, 1963, deactivated July 1, 1967. Tyros 9 I launched January 22, 1965, failed February 15, 1967. First Tyros satellite in near polar orbit. Tyros 10 OT1 launched July 2, 1965, deactivated July 1, 1967. As of June 2009, all Tyros satellites launched between 1960 and 1965, with the exception of Tyros 7, were still in orbit. Topic: 
Topic: Tyro's operational system. ESA 1 OT3 ESA 2 OT2 ESA 3 TOSA ESA 4 TOSB ESA 5 TOSC ESA 6 TOSD ESA 7 TOSE ESA 8 TOSF ESA 9 TOSG topic Etos, Tyros M. Tyros M. Etos 1, January 23, 1970 launch. Noah 1, Etos A, December 11, 1970 launch. Etos B, October 21, 1971 launch, unusable orbit. Etos C. Noah 2, Etos D, October 15, 1972 launch. Etos E July 16, 1973 launch, failed to orbit. NOAA 3 Etos F, November 6, 1973 launch. NOAA 4 Etos G, November 15, 1974 launch. NOAA 5 Etos H, July 29, 1976 launch. Topic: Tyros N. Tyros N proto flight launched the 13th of October 1978 into a 470 nmi orbit deactivated on the 27th of February 1981 NOAA 6 NOAA a prior to launch launched the 27th of June 1979 into a 450 nmi orbit the HERES, a primary mission sensor failed the 19th of September 1983 the satellite exceeded its two-year designed lifetime by almost six years when deactivated on 31 March 1987. NOAA-B Launched 29 May 1980. It failed to achieve a usable orbit because of a booster engine anomaly. NOAA-7-C Launched 23 June 1981 into a 470 nmi orbit, deactivated June 1986. NOAA-12-D Launched the 14th of May 1991 into a 450 nmiam orbit out of sequence. See below. Placed in standby mode on the 14th of December 1998, when NOAA 15 became operational and deactivated on the 10th of August 2007, setting an extended lifetime record of over 16 years. Topic: <laughs> Advanced Tyros N. The advanced Tyros N ATN spacecraft were similar to the NOAA A through D satellites, apart from an enlarged equipment support module to allow integration of additional payloads. A change from the Tyros N through NOAA D spacecraft was that spare word locations in the low bit rate data system Tyros Information Processor TIP was used for special instruments such as the Earth Radiation Budget Satellite ERB and SBUV-2. The search and rescue SAR system became independent, utilizing a special frequency for transmission of data to the ground. NOAA 8E launched the 28th of March 1983 into a 450 nautical mile, 830 kilometers, 520 miles orbit out of sequence before NOAA D to get the first SAR system on a US satellite operational. Deactivated 29 December 1985, following a thermal runaway which destroyed a battery. NOAA 9-F Launched 12 December 1984 into 470 nmi afternoon orbit and was the first satellite to carry an SBUV-2 instrument. It was deactivated on 1 August 1993 but was reactivated three weeks later, after the failure of NOAA-13. The SARR transmitter failed on 18 December 1997 and the satellite was permanently deactivated on 13 February 1998. NOAA-10-G Launched 17 September 1986 into a 450 nmi morning orbit. Placed in standby mode on 17 September 1991 when NOAA-12 became operational and deactivated on 30 August 2001. NOAA 11-H Launched 24 September 1988 into a 470 nmipm orbit. 
Placed in standby mode in March 1995 and was reactivated in May 1997 to provide soundings after an HERS anomaly on NOAA 12. Decommissioned 16 June 2004. NOAA 13-I Launched 9 August 1993 into a 470 nmipm orbit, two weeks after launch the spacecraft suffered a catastrophic power system anomaly. Attempts to contact or command the spacecraft were unsuccessful. NOAA 14 J Launched 30 December 1994 into a 470 nmipm orbit and decommissioned 23 May 2007 after more than 12 years of operation. NOAA 15 K Launched 13 May 1998 into a 450 nmi morning orbit and replaced NOAA 12 on 14 December 1998, as the primary AM spacecraft. Now secondary, with Metop B as the AM primary. NOAA 16 L Launched 21 September 2000 into a 470 nmi afternoon orbit, replaced NOAA 14 on 19 March 2001, as the primary AM spacecraft. Decommissioned on 9 June 2014 due to major spacecraft anomaly. NOAA 17 M Launched 24 June 2002 into a 450 nmi AM orbit and decommissioned 10 April 2013. NOAA 18 N Launched 20 May 2005 into a 470 nmi afternoon orbit and replaced NOAA 16 as the PM primary spacecraft on 30 August 2005. NOAA 19 N prime Launched 6 February 2009 into a 470 nmi afternoon orbit and replaced NOAA 18 as the PM primary spacecraft on 2 June 2009.